The curtains are about to open for the San Diego Latino Film Festival's 30th anniversary. Welcome back. I'm Kirsten Holmes in for Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. Organizers are promising special appearances by award-winning filmmakers, some from across the country and many from San Diego. Our very own Jesse Pagan is live at Puesto in Mission Valley, where the festival is kicking off with a sneak peek, Jesse. Yeah, Kirsten Carlo, as you've seen the little snippets here and there from some teases throughout the entire newscast today, you can see the party really is going, and it's a special party because it's the 30th anniversary. Here with me right now, though, I want to get right to it and introduce you to pretty important people. Carla Duarte, one of the artists who has a film this year in this year's festival, and of course, we know Ethan Van Thilo, who is the founder of the whole shebang here right now. But Carla, I want to start with you. You're right next to me. Tell me a little bit about your film and what it is. Sentir el son is a short documentary. It's a poetic documentary about Afro-Mexico. It's a female hero's journey about this woman in LA who's trying to get a sense of her ethnicity, her roots, and that's it. We, we dive into her journey and, through music, poetry, dance, and a lot of beat. Yeah, you mentioned Afro-Mexico, Latinos come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. We know this. Why is that important for you to highlight? It is important because there's a beautiful community here in San Diego where Latinos are part of it, but uh, as, um, and that's one part, it's a local story, but at the same time, it's shedding light in, uh, to Mexico in a very important topic. Uh, just recently, 2015, is when the census Mexico, Mex the Mexico government accepted Me Afro-Mexicans to be part of the census. Mm. So this was just, a, it's, it's just very recent. Yeah, some new developments that we might not think about but are really kind of groundbreaking at this point. This is your second year at the festival, first yeah. festival where it's fully back in person. What are you excited for? I'm very excited to be part of this uh, film festival because it's a symposium for people to come over and exchange ideas and learn about other filmmakers, get inspired for the next movie, etc. So yeah. it's, it's just fun. Awesome, Carla. Thank you so much. Ethan, we know you, my friend. Let's hear your voice now. Tell me about this year. It's the 30th one. Why are you excited about that? Well, I mean, 30 years ago, we started as a small student film festival, and now we're expecting almost close to 20,000 people coming. Over 160 movies will be screened for 11 days, March 9th or 19th. We're going to open the festival with a bang with uh, Joaquin Cosio, a wonderful Mexican actor, also on a Netflix show called Hentified. So it's a great opening night, March 9th. We invite people to come out. But, you know, it's much more than just a film. We have the actors, filmmakers present. We have opening night and closing night party with Sonora Dinamita, great Colombian and cumbia band. We have Sabor Latino Food Festival, Arte Latino exhibits. All 11 days we have live concerts called Sonido Latino at the AMC Mission Valley Theater. So it's something to, for everybody. We enjoy, invite everyone to come out. Absolutely. All right, Ethan, thank you, my friend. You heard the man. This whole thing actually starts March 9th through the 19th. Tons of events all over the place. You can check CBS8.com for all the entire schedule tickets. The whole thing for now. The kickoff party continues tonight, guys. And let me tell you, it's getting loud and rowdy and good times up in there. Kirsten Carlo. Good times deserve to be had. Absolutely. Looks like for the 30th anniversary, they're going to do it up big, Jesse.